Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Last Play Minecraft with me, Nisi. Hi, how's everyone doing today? Uh, ooh, ooh, uncomfortable, zoom in. <laughs> uh, here I am at the windmill, and uh, I have no plans for today, none at all. It's one of these days where I can't quite decide what I'm in the, uh, I'm in the mood to do. Uh, so I think we're just gonna do some stuff that we need to get done, because it's just one of those. Perhaps not the most interesting, but satisfying um, to get a lot of stuff done. And one of these is definitely get in here and tidy up all these chests. There's a lot of tidying up to do, so I think we're gonna hit some music. Maybe we can find a good song to do this to and start uh, breaking up some, some chests. That was a lot of stuff I just got done, but it's time to actually do some work I can <laughs> record. And I think I really want to work on this section here. I can go through this several times um, when I'm doing stuff like in that corner or here. Like I just walk past here all the time. And um, the fact that there is no path, everything under the snow is grass, <laughs> uh, is bothering me. So I think we're going to work on connecting these areas together for now. And also want to fix whatever this is. Uh, some of it looks good, the, the cobble definitely doesn't, it kind of cuts off here and I think we've even had monsters spawn here so I had to just run with these torches. Um, so let's see, I've got a bit of a transition palette in mind so I'm thinking guys, we're going, basically we're going from smooth stone, or just stone actually, we're going from stone into mud and path blocks so best way to do this huh, I think would be to use acacia logs as a sort of in-between color so a bit of that gray but then it turns kind of warm yeah into dripstone now this is this is just me putting down blocks it's not actually gonna look like that uh and then we can put down our mud or our mud bricks probably should have covered these before um Kind of works. <laughs> kind of works. These will definitely a bit more work than just putting down blocks like that. And I also feel like doing a little bit of Minecraft gardening. So I think I want to do some sort of flower area maybe in this corner. It's a bit hard because there's snow everywhere. So we're going to have to put down hidden lighting as well. Melt the snow. But I think we can definitely get something going here. I think we're going to have to move this lamppost as well. There we go, here is the path guys, and uh, I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it. The lights are definitely not spaced out evenly, which is bothering me, uh, but I'm going to leave it for now. I need to wait for it to snow, uh, because the point of the light is to melt the snow on the ground, and this, we get snow all the way up until, uh, let's see, this is snowy plains, snowy plains, plains. Up, right up till the, this block here is when it changes. Uh, so this line here with the lamp. Uh, the point of these lamps is to melt the snow so I have a feeling the way they are just now they'll only melt the snow in the middle and not around the edges. I think we're gonna have to do something like this where there's quite a few of them in sort of irregular patterns to cover all edges maybe. <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll wait and see but while I'm wait, waiting for that I think what I want to do is create some sort of like a wall here instead of just having like a, a plain hill. I don't like this, but I don't think I can use stone because uh, it blends in with the floor too much. I mean, it's the exact same pattern, right? So I think I'm going to maybe swap that out to tough. I'm not sure. I also want to make another wall here to so make this a lot steeper. Uh, I'm basically 
follow this pattern here like a, almost like an overhang I think it could feel really cozy here especially if I fix this uh, but I'm not sure <laughs> not sure what block to use for that so I think I'm gonna try tough uh, on this side and on this side and we'll see how it goes let's look at the path <laughs> it's a beautiful sunrise and everything looks so nice in the light <laughs> not so much uh, at night time I don't think uh, here we are here's a little wall it needs a lot of work uh, so let's start with the top wall first while I talk through my ideas here for this path first I think it needs to go a bit taller and I needed to kind of connect with that cobblestone back there and kind of blend in somehow Unfortunately, we don't have mossy tuff, which I would absolutely die for right here. <laughs> I would love to get some mossy tuff, but uh, this should work. Now, I wanted to actually feel like the wall has got a purpose, though. So I think what we're going to need to do... This is bothering me. That needs to go in by one, I think. Uh, what we need to do is make it look like the wall is kind of holding back quite a steep hill, if that makes sense. Uh, to stop the dirt from collapsing down and I like the idea of there being some overhanging plants now if you overhang the dirt oops there's a <laughs> the slab here it doesn't look good I tried even if you use dirt blocks because the bottom of it is kind of like nasty <laughs> so I think we're gonna maybe add a lot of bushery here instead and have some leaves kind of overhanging a little bit and we could maybe even use um, walls to kind of hold the back. I think we're gonna take this vibe. I don't know if I want to use azalea leaves because there's an azalea tree right here. It kind of blends too much. Um, hmm, maybe mangrove. I'm not sure. I've only got azalea leaves on hand, but I just realized when I put that down, I'm like, this does not blend. In fact, I might just chop that tree down and replace it with a different tree. <laughs> uh, I have a little cute fence here. Very cute trapdoor fence. I love it so much. And down here, I started working on these overhangs. I think they feel so cozy, uh, but they could be 10 times cozier. Uh, I need to replace a lot of this dirt with stone, I think. <laughs> and uh, add some indents in here. Indent? I don't know if that's the right word, but this this needs to be an overhang to feel, feel nice here. And I'm going to add some decorations down here. I kind of feel like it's almost like a restaurant area. I don't know why I'm getting like a restaurant vibe from this. I'm going to add like little tables, I think. I think that would make sense. I mean, realistically, if you have like a big market here, you're probably going to have a restaurant somewhere to be uh, to, for people to eat. And uh, we've got all these villages here. We're going to have little tables here. Don't ask me where the actual restaurant is. I, I just imagine it, but there's going to be a little, maybe picnic tables there. Maybe that's it. <laughs> um, and another thing that's been bothering me um, I had a little fence here as well, by the way, is this section here. So, uh, as it is now, you kind of go down here and then go back down here if you want to go to the villager hall. Now, it feels nice, sort of. I don't know. I like this intersection, right? I like the intersection. But when you're actually using it, it doesn't feel realistic because humans would just go like that, <laughs> okay? I will go like that. I'll probably will. In fact, I probably won't even go for like that. I'll probably, if I need to go from here, the villager hall, I'll probably just go like this, right? <laughs> Let's be honest. The paths are, paths are more for decoration, but I think they can only work as decor decoration if they kind of feel realistic. So I think this, this, this portion feels unrealistic. We either need to fully block it off, uh, and I don't have any logs on me, okay? yeah we either need to fully block it off here with some sort of blockage <laughs> english uh to force people to, to force me <laughs> to go down this long way uh which i don't think works uh another thing is we could have like a natural obstacle here so we could have like a tree grow in here what do i think about a tree grow in here it could work but it's not the vision i have for it for here uh or we could just add like a really steep stairway here and I think I'm gonna do that actually I think we're gonna even this out slightly uh and I have like a little nook in here we could even have like a little nook down here oh my god that's a great idea we could have a little staircase here somewhere maybe on that side though a little staircase up that side whoops and a little staircase down here I'm a bit manic right now I'm full of ideas <laughs> I was uh very 
clueless about what I wanted to do here before I started working and now that I've gone into the work I'm like yes do this and this and that and I'm a bit <laughs> bit hyper uh but yeah I think a little staircase here somewhere like a little one by one or a one by one just like a one block wide or a two block wide one uh yes it's okay I'm gonna get working oh it started snowing and uh yeah a lot of the path <laughs> A lot of the path is getting covered in snow here, which is not what we want at all. So uh, this is going to be a bit of trial and error, figuring out where we put the lantern so everything melts. And also, <laughs> so it looks good. And I think we're going to try to copy what we did there, basically. Just kind of zigzag it across. Hopefully that will work. Guys, I have a crazy idea. I have no idea how this is going to work. But I really want to try it. So we have this almost sort of alleyway, I want to say alleyway yeah, kind of feeling here uh, with the wall and the fence here. I kind of want to feel cozy. It's a bit cramped maybe in a nice way. Uh, and so <laughs> for the lights, I had a bunch there on the floor. I had this entire middle section lit up on the floor as well. So there was sort of almost like here with three lights. Uh, I had it like this and it was melting most of the snow but it just kind of looked bad. Now I think ideally I would have these as like slabs and then you have the light slightly under. I think that would look cute but unfortunately the blocks I'm using here for the palette don't have any slab variants, uh, the dripstone and oops and the acacia wood. Um, so what I think I want to do instead is I have these pillars here and they kind of match up with the ones on the other side. I really, 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 really want to make some sort of string light effect here. Um, kind of when you go down streets uh, in cities, they kind of have these lights hanging across the road, especially in Christmas time. It's not Christmas, it is July actually, but uh, I think it'd be cute. And you have string lights outdoors and gardens and stuff as well. So I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't think using leads and chickens would work. That was like my first thought is I know you can hide chickens and use leads and you have like these lights like ropes essentially uh but first i don't want chicken noises in here second you can't hang lanterns on those but a few lanterns so we might have to do like signs fences chains i don't know um worst case i might put like a roof i don't know if i want a roof here i want something to give some sort of lights above but i don't want street lamps because i made a street, street lamp here uh i don't like the way it looks but I also don't want to use copper bulbs. I don't know. This is this is coming down for sure. But I'm, I'm basically working out alternatives I can use in this area that are not um not lamps or redstone lamps or copper bulbs. That's what they call. I keep calling them lamps. They're copper bulbs, but they're really just copper lamps. Like this whole section was so much easier because the path blocks uh, are not a full block, so they can't get snow on them. Um, so I only really had to worry about some of these blocks the, the slabs obviously don't get snow on them yeah if i slab this entor entire area it would make life so much easier but we don't have slabs i um i made 10 10 banners <laughs> and i only just realized that the reason it doesn't look the same as the guide i copied was because i messed up the very last step of it and i had already copied 10 of them so uh <laughs> we're just gonna make two so I've got the orange gradient there for the last step. It was actually meant to be an orange base gradient. If I do apply this, it's going to look very orangey. What if we use yellow? We might just, uh, ooh. Oh, you know, actually that's kind of nice. Uh, I think we're going to try, ooh, try like dark blue. <laughs> uh, we're going to do our best with uh, messing this up. Uh, you're a cornflower. I don't suppose I have any blue dye in here. Oh, I do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I was trying to come up with a banner pattern for the town. It was almost like a flag. It's not quite a flag because, um, I don't know, a flag, I can imagine more like the, the wool and stuff. <laughs> uh, banners are actually quite hard to use for flags, I think, because you can't really scale them up that easily. And I was coming up with the designs involving the sun, which I love as a motif in the castle town and here, and there's a star here, you know, very, uh, very, uh, cosmic. <laughs> um, I was coming up with some of my favorite colors as well. And the colors we have around the base, like a lot of white from the snow, 
uh, red from the mangrove, um, the, the, the sand, <laughs> orange, yellow, red. So these are the two designs we got. Uh, I did mess them up both, so neither of them were meant to look like this. But you know, well, we're gonna roll with it. I think they look kind of cute. Uh, I think I prefer the white one. The pink is maybe a bit too pink. <laughs> oh no, give it back. There we go. I think we're gonna go with the white one. Uh, and just kind of hang them on these uh, fences that are kind of imitating strings here. And I was also thinking of putting up some uh, hanging signs in pink as well. I don't know how these three villages all ended up hanging out here in the cauldrons. They haven't left for days. It's time for the street to go. Are you guys ready for a game of Spot the Difference? <laughs> I went a little bit crazy. I don't know why I decided I needed a custom tree here, but I don't regret it. I think it adds so much. In fact, let me slow down a bit, guys. Let me slow down here. Okay, that's too slow. <laughs> Let's take in the views. Honestly, this thing looks even better at night, but I still need to keep working on it. So I thought I'd record just now while it's fresh in my mind what I'm doing so you can see what it looks like now and then later on. Um, I added these little signs, hanging signs, because I think they add a lot of kind of movement almost to the building. Also, they don't—they don't actually move, but because you can angle them, um, it stops everything from looking too straight. If that makes sense, because the lanterns, the banners, the pencils, they are all really like lined up and neat. And then you add these hanging signs for a bit of color and then a bit of dimension as well, because you can angle them. And I really don't like when they're angling the same way. Why did I do that? <laughs> maybe, maybe go like this. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> and some of them are even lined up like that for a bit more extra pop or something. Pop of something. <laughs> uh, yeah, loving so far how this is turning out, especially with the leaves hanging over. Of course, I had to add that. Uh, doo -doo -doo. <laughs> okay, I don't know what I'm doing here with these leaves quite yet, but I, th I do think it helps. Do you think it's too many leaves? Yeah, I think it might be too many leaves. So we might need to trim that uh, and add some flowers on top there instead. Uh, next up, I'm going to finish up the tree, I think, and work on this area here. I don't have much time left to record, actually, so I'm going to have to be quick around it. Uh, let's see what I can get done <laughs> very quickly. Uh, the answer is not much. <laughs> There's not much I can get done shortly. Uh, life has been relentless, real life, uh, not letting me play Minecraft much. So we're going to have to wrap up here for today. But I did add some extra decor. I added these little benches, which I think are very cute. Some extra uh, paintings here. <laughs> I kind of like street art kind of vibe, if that makes sense. These flower pots, some pickles everywhere. Uh, I worked on the tree a bit more. And I think it looks slightly better now, it's growing on me. And probably the biggest thing, uh, it's it's actually quite a small thing, but it feels like quite big, is I added this little a very similar post here. In fact, those should be barrels. Every time I forget something. If there's barrels in there, I can find them right now. I'll re replace that later. They added these little posts and they give a bit more light to the area and also they make it a lot more cohesive. So I'm quite proud of that. <laughs> and, uh, wow, the sun's coming up already. Uh, let's have a look. Couple screenshots, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I think this looks pretty good. Pretty good if I say so myself. Uh, I'm not very good at detailing. Uh, although I don't know if I'm just talking rubbish here because I don't think I'm good at building, but people still like my builds, so... Who knows? Maybe maybe I am good at detailing <laughs> and I'm going to get crazy ego after this. <laughs> but I think, I think overall it's quite a cute area and uh, it ties in very nicely to the plaza now. Uh, I didn't have any time to work on the downstairs at all so maybe next time. <laughs> Although I didn't notice guys and I'm so sorry. Every time I say we're going to do something next episode lately I never end up doing it because I just always change my mind when it comes to recording. So apologies. Why do I have my hat on? Take it off. <laughs> Apologies about that. Let me know what you guys think of the build. Uh, if you think there's anything missing here or if it's too much. I tried to make it cluttered but cozy. Kind of like you're walking through a busy alleyway into the market in a medieval town. <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, super proud of it though. I am super proud. The colours I think are working well together. I wasn't sure that how the transition will look like at the end between the mud and the stone but I think it's looking fine. I think the tough bricks 
work well. There's a lot of leaves, which is always a plus. And the, you know, I don't hate the pink here. I think the pink actually works really well with the dripstone, if I say so myself. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, it's time for me to wrap up for the day. So thank you. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.